folks, uh, I'm back, video, it's been ages, um, just been mega mega busy teaching short work uh, and big one, I've actually been out competing, uh, hadn't played competitively for 11 months and I laced my boots back up, dusted off the clubs, um, didn't play a lot of golf um, but practiced a fair bit, had a lot of balls at the end of lessons um, so yeah, we went up to Creef for the Scottish PGA qualifier for Glen Eagles and managed to squeak through uh, three over through the first six holes, really just dobbing it about, uh, horrible, and managed to kind of put it together, uh, got it back to shoot 72 plus one and got through uh, 17 spaces available from a field of around 70. So really looking forward to uh, Glen Eagles uh, Kings course there in the middle of October. Uh, and then last week we were at uh, Musselburgh, uh, Moncton Hall, 72-71 round there. Uh, hit the ball good, just putted very poorly. But, you know, considering uh, how much golf I played, I was pretty happy with that. So I really enjoyed getting out there. Uh, a little bit free time today. Uh, so I thought I would get the camera out and uh, have a little go. Um, so got a new toy in the bag. Uh, two iron in the bag. Uh, went in at Musselburgh. Just um, always scared of a two iron because hit it quite low. Probably started to adapt a bit, hit it a bit higher now. So two irons in the bag works really good. So Ping Rapture one. A little bit older one there, but love it. Nice, big, wide sole. Thanks to my main man and YouTube's YouTube sensation at the moment, Steve Johnson, for hooking me up with that one. Cheers, dude. Um, and what else are we going to do? Uh, I did a ping i500 fitting the other day, and the guy just gained club, club and a half. Phenomenal numbers, a little bit low spin, hotter off the face with stronger lofts. Uh, so I've got one with me. I've also got my eye blade, so I thought I'd have a test for myself. Um, can I gain something from them? Are they, are they a little bit too low spin? and to kind of jump off the face for me. But we'll test and see. I've uh, got some lessons later on, might bring the camera along. Uh, gonna try and do some more videos because uh, I've been pants at doing it. So uh, let's see, uh, let's hit some balls. Ping I blade, my own uh, ones, I've actually just used the demo one, so I can use the exact same shaft in the two of them. Um, got it dotted up for GC2 HMT, and I'll show you the data. Uh, seven iron in the I blade, 34 degrees, I think. Don't quote me on that. Um, and I've got it fitted up with Dynamic Gold S300, and then both half an inch longer. Um, so we'll test it. I know what this does. It's what I've used all season when I have played uh, against Ping i500. So we've got this new margin steel face, uh, and then we've got the design construction like a fairway wood essentially. So we're going to get really hollow, uh, fast ball speeds. Expect to see the spin drop uh, and see what it does. It did really good for the customer that I fitted for them. So we'll test it. I'll hit a few in GC2. We'll use Pro V's, normal gig. You know how they all do it. Uh, and we'll see uh, what it does for me and can it do anything for you? Let's find out. Right, let's look at that GC2 data, folks. So first things first, you got me on a good day. My dispersion, five yards of line versus eight yards of line. Pretty damn good for me. Um, so we've recorded 12 sort of there. I have deleted one um, from my own because it was a complete mishit. The smash factor dropped away back down there um, to 1.29 whereas the rest of my average was sort of up in the high 130s to 140s, so it was only fair. Right, ball speed jumps up from 4, um, 4 mile an hour there, you can see peaking out at 134, um, so some really fast ball speeds, but that's to be expected. Again, we've got this new margin um, steel face, giving you faster ball speeds, also this kind of fairway wood design where it's more hollow, so faster ball speeds coming from there for me. Um, uh, launch angle is down, but again, I think we are looking at um, three and a half degrees stronger. 30.5 is the loft on the seven iron equivalent to my own 34 degrees, very conventional. So, loft is playing a part there. Um, path to the right, face to the left, those sort of things, that's all me. The spin is massive difference. You know, we are looking certainly there from what we call that 4,900 versus 6,500. So, you know, 15, 1600 revolutions difference. That is a massive difference. That golf ball is coming in with lots less spin on it. 
but we expect to see that's what the club's designed to do. It's a players looking club with distance, that's one way they're going to get it. Uh, peak height, so four yards higher for my eye blade versus it, topping out at 36 versus 35, so I did get one up there. Uh, and then the, the distance, no surprise, we've come all the way along and we found 192 average versus 178. 178 is just right where I see my 7 arm 175 sort of number is what I've gap tested myself at. So very fair that way versus it. So you know you can see there that the gain is 14, 15 yards. Simply coming faster ball speed and lower spin is going to get it out there. Um, descent angle 44 versus 48 coming in steeper with the eye blade but spin and launch have done that. So a lot of data there, take it as you wish. If you're looking for something sleek looking down by the ball but want some distance you've maybe lost over the years etc. Um, iBlade certainly um, not going to be able to compete on the spin like the i500 is so for me certainly great numbers felt fantastic. I would just want to test that spin number for me. What's it like when the golf ball's wet? What's it like when I'm coming out of semi rough? You know, Am I going to get some jumpy numbers all over the place? But Good club, very good. Um, so I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, let's get back to the rest of the day. Okay guys, so as you saw we hit some shots into the green at 13, 185 yards away we were back in the wind, you can see that flag blowing towards us. My first two seven irons with my pink eye blade comfortably coming up short there. What is it? One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten paces short of the front of the green and the pink i500 comfortably getting on the green and one just slightly right there came off the top of the bunker. So the you know the dry ball data as it were um, is justified what we saw in the course, especially into the wind, that lower spin that we were seeing is certainly gonna help cut through the wind a little bit. A little bit of one-handed chipping going on. This isn't good, it will be edited out. I-500, ball speed through the roof, distance amazing, is the launch and spin, launch angle, peak height, could I game them? I like distance gain, I like more forgiving, great, what about bounce, let's use the bounce of that wedge more, it works, it helps, work practicing folks, um, let's check out how my pupils get on tonight.
Yeah. Okay, so you see how it's higher rather than being down there. And then so from here, just use this shoulder to turn. Right, I'm going to let go just turn up. Up. Now that's more, I like it laid off a little. Mm -hmm. I don't like it flat, I like it up there. And then from there, when you move, the club moves out. Ten past eight, pitch dark, lesson finished, just in time there, uh, long day there, uh, finally got the camera back on, hope it worked out alright, so uh, a little update on what's been going on, and uh, a little look at the new Ping i500, fantastic, a little bit of work on pitching, how'd that bunker shot not go in? <laughs> Uh, and a little bit of my lessons there with a couple of juniors uh, tonight as well. So, uh, good. Camera back on um, and hopefully do a little bit more, maybe some tips and a bit more reviews, whatever else you fancy uh, at the main road. So, uh, signing off. Thanks very much, guys.